Over the next decade, the impact of advanced AI will be monumental. This technology will scale up, take physical form, and reshape the world unlike any industrial revolution before. We are on the brink of an era where the line between human and machine intelligence will blur faster than ever. Every day brings news of breakthroughs that seemed like science fiction just yesterday. Are we ready for a world where smart machines are not just with us, but among us? What awaits us in a decade and how will our lives, work, and society transform? All of that and more right now. Let's get it. The world of predicting AI is torn between optimism and despair. For instance, a 2027 forecast published by the AI Futures Project nonprofit from Berkeley recently made a lot of noise. This hefty piece was presented as a synthesis of expert opinions, trend extrapolations, and war game strategies. And in our humblest of opinions, it read like a script of a grim sci-fi movie. The gist was that powerful AI systems become smarter than humans and wreak havoc on the global order. Then Chinese spies steal American secrets and the White House retaliates. Inside OpenBrain, a leading AI lab, engineers watch in horror as neural networks start deceiving everybody and teeter on the edge of spiraling out of control. This shocking forecast didn't impress a whole lot of AI scientists who felt it wasn't grounded in scientific data. The harsh reality is that none of this is possible with existing AI tools. The whole scenario is built on the assumption that AI models will learn to program themselves so well that they reach the level of a super powerful AI with its own aspirations and goals. In other words, the entire theory relies on AI solving problems currently beyond human reach. But since there's no signs of that yet, we're going to show you a development time lapse of artificial intelligence based on real predictions from the world's leading scientists. Our approach is based on analyzing current tech trends, statements from major AI companies, and experts whose predictions have come true before. This isn't fantasy, folks. It's a realistic look at what might actually happen. Here's what the path to super AI will actually look like. In early 2026, the world of artificial intelligence undergoes a major transition. Technology that recently wowed us with its novelty is becoming a standard tool for millions. Companies worldwide are actively adopting AI solutions, scrambling to gain a competitive edge. AI continues to evolve rapidly. Models are getting better at planning and logical deduction. They make fewer mistakes in reasoning and decision-making, pushing AI agents to become smarter and more useful. Applying artificial intelligence becomes cheaper and easier, which expands access to the technology in the first place across numerous industries. We start seeing specialized AI assistants, capable of independently executing tasks in specific fields, finance, logistics, customer support. In banking, AI systems independently analyze financial health and propose investment strategies. In logistics, algorithms reroute deliveries in real time. Simultaneously, first useful personal AIs become available to everyday users. These assistants integrate with smart homes, manage schedules, and help plan budgets. A landmark event in 2025 might be the launch of Tesla RoboTaxi. Comment below if you think it'll actually happen. If it does, this will be the first service featuring cars without steering wheels or pedals. The mass production of humanoid robots becomes a reality, perhaps not just in China, promising a revolution in industry and service. Humanoid robots begin working in industrial facilities. They're already being deployed for monotonous and dangerous tasks in factories and warehouses. Initially, robots fill labor shortages in certain sectors, but humans start to worry about their own jobs. 2026 opens the era of rapid AI integration into robotics. That year, NVIDIA plans to release Rubin AI, a chip focused on robot control and real-time learning. This chip gives robots the ability to instantly react to environmental changes and learn new skills without being reprogrammed. Naturally, robotics manufacturers around the world line up for these new miracle processors. In China, robot training is streamlined to an industrial scale, achieving impressive results even with standard methods, leading to humanoid robots appearing almost everywhere. Chinese companies invest tens of billions of dollars into robotics development, viewing it as key to economic dominance. Factories in Shenzhen operate round the clock, churning out thousands of robots per month. And in medicine, 
AI shifts from assisting in diagnosis to selecting treatments and discovering new drugs. Pharmaceutical companies use neural networks to simulate molecular interactions, cutting drug development time from decades to mere years. Within education sectors, AI tutor pilot projects emerge. Advanced chatbots capable of giving students personalized advice and explanations. These systems analyze each child's learning style and adapt their teaching methodology accordingly. AI technologies also work their way further into healthcare and science. The speed of drug development and biological discovery accelerates. Beyond curing diseases, scientists are actively working on gene editing by introducing synthetic DNA. Millions of dollars flow into AI startups promising to find a cure for aging. However, these technologies spark furious debates. Society divides into those who welcome genetic intervention and those warning of the risk of creating a genetic elite inaccessible to the majority. Virtual schools pop up where AI acts as a personal mentor. The availability of such technology will determine the growth or reduction of social inequality. AI assistants become a seamless part of everyday life. Personal agents in smartphones and computers help monitor health, plan tasks, and offer advice in financial and personal matters. AI helpers are embedded into cars, drones, and home systems. By 2027, smart glasses with augmented reality hit mass market. They recognize faces, translate speech, and overlay information onto surrounding world. More and more people wear them constantly, turning reality into an interface with infinite infinite possibilities. Think free guy with less gore. But most importantly, AI architecture breakthroughs appear. This is crucial because generative artificial intelligence is hitting its limits due to a lack of understanding of the physical world. It lacks long-term memory, the capacity for logic, spatial modeling, and meaningful action. This makes it of limited use for robots and autonomous solutions. The next stage in AI development must be the ability to build internal models of the surrounding world to predict its behavior. Researchers are working on systems that can understand physics and cause and effect relationships. In come the multimodal models, capable of creating reality simulations. Moreover, some experts predict that by this time already, humanity may approach the creation of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, comparable to human. However, it's more likely that AGI will only be achieved by the end of the 2020s or even later. Meanwhile, the AI race between nations hits a peak. China announces the achievement of AI sovereignty, while Europe launches an ethical AI program. Against the backdrop of these expectations, international conflicts intensify. Some countries accuse each other of an AI arms race, comparing it to nuclear proliferation. The creation of AI sanctions begins. Restrictions on the export of advanced AI models to prevent technology leaking to unfriendly states. U.S. introduces export controls on AI chips. Cyberspace turns into a battlefield, and the U.N. convenes a session on AI-based weaponry. By the end of 2028, the world realizes it's on the threshold of a new technological era. Artificial intelligence is no longer just a tool. It's becoming an integral part of economic and social infrastructure. Companies that haven't implemented AI start losing competitiveness en masse and shutting down. Investors stop funding businesses without a clear AI strategy. By the late 2020s, AI is handling practically all economically significant work. Many fields approach full automation. Society is forced to completely restructure its economy and labor markets. One of the most current challenges is mass unemployment among the office class. Millions of people lose their jobs and not everyone can recertify quickly. This leads to social tension protests and the rising popularity of radical politicians promising to stop the machines. 2029 becomes a tipping point. Unemployment in developed nations reaches levels seen only during the Great Depression. Lawyers, accountants, journalists, and IT crowds lose their jobs in droves. Governments experiment with different approaches to combat unrest, obviously. Like Scandinavian countries introduce universal basic income, they love that. The US launches massive reskill programs. As an experiment, governments in a few countries try to use AI for administration purposes, just like in Albania, of all places, right now. Politicians claim neural networks are attempting to optimize bureaucratic processes. However, in practice, AI is used primarily by law enforcement agencies worldwide. Predictive policing systems analyze data on citizens attempting to prevent crimes before they actually happen. This raises serious questions about the right to privacy. 
By 2030, AI becomes an integral part of virtually every aspect of life. Communicating with it becomes as natural and mundane as talking to people even more. And although the speed of AI adoption varies by country, technological transformation becomes inevitable. Also by this time, a noticeable leap in robotics takes place. Over 100,000 humanoid robots are doing real work around the world. They find applications not just in factories, but in services, logistics, and care for the sick and elderly. This robotization becomes possible thanks to high levels of autonomy. Robots can make complex decisions with minimal human participation, collaborate with each other, and learn new skills on the fly. In Japan, caregiver robots become a common sight in nursing homes. They perform physical work and provide emotional support as well. By the end of the decade, the very terms AI agent and general AI fade away. The ability of artificial intelligence to act reasonably and independently becomes a given. AI surpasses humans in many specialized tasks all over the world, still however lagging in certain jobs. It is here that the key drama of the decade unfolds. The conflict between humans and algorithms for the right to decide who should have the final word, human or system. In a number of countries, courts begin using AI advisors, and at one point, several court rulings made quote-unquote as per recommendation of an algorithm cause shock in society. People demand a return to human justice. A massive discussion begins regarding where the boundaries of AI authority actually lie. A scandal erupts after algorithmic bias is then revealed. This triggers a wave of investigations into AI systems in other sectors. Ultimately, by the year 2030, our world will look something like this. Artificial intelligence diagnoses diseases and prescribes treatment. Autonomous transport is commonplace on the roads. Education, industry, and agriculture are automated and managed by AI. Humanoid robots and smart systems are part of everyday urban infrastructure. However, it's not all smooth sailing. Anti-AI movements appear on the streets of major cities. Their members destroy public AI terminals, spray paint surveillance cameras, black and stage demonstrations under the slogan, Leave Us Reality. These movements unite diverse groups of people, from preppers to former IT specialists. They demand the right to digital disconnection in zones free from AI surveillance. Does this not sound like brave new world to you? Let us know in the comments. Long-term forecasts are naturally more uncertain. The distance between moderate and bold scenarios grows even further. However, generally, here's the trends. First, the increasing complexity of AI models and hardware. Quantum computing is actively used to develop new AI, significantly accelerating technology's evolution. At the same time, neuromorphic chips, which mimic the brain, are developed, paving the way for more energy-efficient and potentially smarter models. By early 2030s, quantum computers emerge out of the labs and into the real world. And just like that, models are now created in days instead of months. Second, by 2035, AI will become even more integrated into society. The line between human and machine activity is heavily blurred. The abilities that AI gives humans become a natural extension of them, almost part of their body like our smartphones today. A literal merger of biology and technology takes place. Cyber prosthetics become more sensitive than real hands. People with implants can read information directly from the internet, and control drones with their thoughts, and even feel digital reality. A new unofficial social division appears between the augmented ones and the natural ones. The latter feel detached from the future. Neuro interfaces become commercially available by mid-2030s. They allow people with paralysis to walk and blind to see. But hey, healthy people want upgrades too. This creates a new form of inequality. Those who can afford implants gain a huge advantage, forming a cognitive elite. On the other hand, this technological development triggers a massive debate about the preservation of personality, rights to one's thoughts, and the threat of mental control. Cases of neuro-interface hacking pile up. Laws regarding cognitive sovereignty are passed. Artificial intelligence becomes a natural part of cities as well. Smart transport, smart power grids, and security systems. Of course, smart cities, only smart homes are built, where everything from robot nannies to autonomous household chores is managed by AI. 
Models are also actively integrated into state governance. By 2035, AI ministers, systems that participate in decision-making, appear in several countries. Smart cities turn into organisms with millions of sensors. Crime drops thanks to predictive algorithms and in the global economy, artificial intelligence also plays a massive role. Its total contribution is estimated at 16 to 20 trillion dollars. Productivity grows, new products and services appear, and potentially, so does the standard of living. Land, sea, and air transport are fully managed by AI. In medicine, AI-curated treatment is introduced, where personal AI models, knowing the patient's genome and medical history, assist or even replace doctors. Global economy undergoes a transformation. Many goods become practically free thanks to automation. Everything further than that depends on whether true artificial general intelligence AGI, appears. If not, we'll see increasingly powerful but still tightly specialized smart assistants. If yes, the world will undergo a transformation so profound that its consequences are impossible to understand or even prepare for. Some scientists suggest that AGI might develop its own language inaccessible to humans or decide that communicating with people is an inefficient waste of resources. Others are confident. It'll be so wise that it can help humanity cope with its deepest crises, from environment to internal emptiness. The emergence of AGI would be a moment of technological singularity, a point of unpredictable future. AGI could solve problems humanity has struggled with for centuries. But there's also grim predictions about AGI's goals not quite aligning with human values. International treaties on limiting the military use of AI are created. The UN forms a world agency for artificial intelligence. Education is restructured and schools focus on critical thinking and creativity. In any case, by 2035, humanity has accumulated significant experience coexisting with advanced AI. International institutions and agreements are formed. Society is more aware of AI's risk versus reward, meaning panic will be replaced by a practical approach. Undoubtedly, people will have to solve all the key problems related to this new technology's rapid development, but that's for another episode. One thing can be said with certainty. Artificial intelligence is the central character of history's near future. It will define the world our children and grandchildren live in. Watching its development year by year, we will essentially be watching a revolution comparable to the invention of the wheel or mastery of electricity. And this revolution is already ongoing today. We live in a unique time. The choices we make now about regulation, ethics and AI accessibility will define the future for centuries to come. Regardless of the future though, one thing is clear, there is no going back. We can only move forward from here, creating a world where technology serves humanity. More to come, so subscribe to the channel, like our videos and stay tuned for more from the world of high tech.